hello my people guys are welcome back um, in today's class I want to I want to show us how to cut this um, overlapping slit at the front of a skirt or maybe a gown an overlapping slit at the front so this line is 9 inches from the waistline this is the knee line. This is the hip measurement divided by 4 plus your sewing allowance. You are going to minus 6 inches from whatever you have on your hip. Then you mark it to get your knee. You divide it by 4 then plus your 2 inches. The same thing on the waist line. Waist measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Meanwhile, this one I'm cutting is serving as the line and I'm cutting two. I'm cutting two front at the same time. This is serving as a pattern. This is serving as a pattern. I'm cutting two front at the same time. And the two of them is serving as the pattern right now. So instead of using lining like this, you can decide to use paper. If your paper is as big as the lining, then no problem. This is two front. This is two front together. So after cutting the two front, the two pay the two front is going to serve as the as the pattern. So just follow it diligently you're going to understand it so like this is the midpoint of the skirt you can decide to just sketch just uh, draw a straight line there sorry this is the hip line this is the hip line then that straight line you're going to curve up to that up to that hip line they're going to curve up to that hip line. That's from that center part. You curve up to that hip line. Depending on how open you want it to be. If you don't want it very open, if you don't want it to come up very well, you can decide to come down by two inches from that hip line. And this part is about um five inches just to enable you on where to cough from it doesn't really have standard measurement there it doesn't really have standard measurement so if you don't want it as high as uh up to the hip line you can just come down two to three inches below that hip line then you cough to that end i hope you guys understand there is one part of the front so now before cutting the other uh, before cutting the other front let me use it and cut the back let me use it and cut the back so just add about one inch here one one inch extension for back that so this is the hip line There's your knee line. There's the hip line. So now you are going to add your zip allowance at the back. So after cutting from that one inch, you just connect it, then you go down straight with the same shape with the front. So notch this place to mark to demarcate the zip allowance. So this is your zip allowance and the hip line you can come out uh, with half inch to create a space for the bot so as simple as that that is the slit for the back if you want it to have slit at the back but if you don't want it to have slit you just close it down that's that with the back we are done with the back so now i've cut one part of the front 
so this is the other part of the front the same way get a straight line to mark the center of the, of the skirt so about um, six inches from the center six inches from the center then here we're going to mark three inches mark about three inches so you're going to connect you're going to connect up to that three inches connect then you connect mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut it off. So you can see that you have to cut two front pattern in order to achieve this. I think that's the I think that's the easiest way. So this is the, that is the right part and that's the right part and this is the left part. So this is what it's going to look like. Make sure the uh, the center, the main point of the uh, skirt aligns so after placing on each other this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have just like I said if you don't want this slit to be as high as this you are going to come down by 2 to 3 inches on the hip line so you cut the same thing on the main fabric cut it out like this on the main fabric then if you want some little draping on this other one all you need to do is just slash you use this slash and spread pattern you spread then you'll be able to have fully together here if you want draping on it but if you don't want draping on it just like you're just going to leave it like this with Ankara the draping might not really come out nice unlike all this silky material so it's the same thing after cutting on our fabric this is it then the other one is going to be on it like this then your lapping slit is ready so as simple as that just tack together join the take your normal measurement join with the back take your normal measurement then the skirt is ready if it is gone you attach it to your papa then take your measurement thank you guys for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe